Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. What I'm doing now is I am going out and I'm trying some new settings. Now, I've been pretty happy, I mean, more or less with the fake s Cinetone. Yankee Cowboy is trying to get me to shoot with, you know, log, S-log. Now, I did a bunch of research on this last night and watched dozens of videos and I have come to the conclusion that I'm not doing it because I'm already bad enough about editing and all that shit. But I thought, okay, it should be something that I know how to do. I should play around with it, so on and so forth, and maybe I'll do it. I don't like having to dick around like that all the time. I want to just turn the damn camera on, shoot, and what comes out of the camera is what I use. And it ain't going to happen if I'm shooting an S-log or whatever in a picture profile, I guess I should say, and then having to add a lot or, you know, tweak things to, to tweak it. No, that's not for me. I'm not into that. So after I watched all those videos last night, what started to come out to me was that it's pointless for me to do it because I'm shooting on an 8-bit camera. I mean, right now I'm shooting on my, my A7C. If I wasn't shooting on that, I'd be shooting on a ZV-1 or an action cam. I'm not freaking doing log on that shit. There's really not much of a need for me to do it because I'm not going to get all that much benefit out of it. Not to mention, this is just some shitty little vlog. I'm not shooting cinematic masterpieces. I'm just out there vlogging and shooting whatever the hell I want. If I were doing client work or shooting a wedding or something like that, then I could see taking the time to go through and do the whole, oh, I got to have massive dynamic range so I can go in and tweak things and blah, 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 and spend hours editing and all that shit. Yeah. But I'm not going to do that for this. I mean, it's enough that, that I, you know, for a while there anyways, that I was daily vlogging. Daily vlogging and then shooting in logs and putting on LUTs and, and tweaking. And it's just, I don't know how many different times I could say it's not for me. Now today I'm shooting in 4K and I am trying an experiment. And I was watching DSLR Video Shooter, who, who is just a, an encyclopedia of knowledge, right up there with Gerald Undone. I watched one of his videos on, on like how to get the best footage out of a Sony camera. And his big thing was, you know, you don't have to do all this crazy stuff with, with LUTs and this, that's, and the other things and all that stuff. And he basically went into a picture, pro, blah, picture profile, chose S-Log2, but changed it from S-Gamut, which he has shown is, is fake S-Gamut, and went with the uh, I-709 matrix or something like that. He also turned, I think it was, it might have been, yeah, detail down all the way down to negative seven and saturation to zero. And he said, this is gives the, the, like the truest colors in a sodium camera straight out of the camera when shooting. Okay, so I plopped a couple pictures up on screen. I did some testing inside my studio and eh, yeah, okay, it ain't bad. And now outside, out and about in the sunshine or in the forerunner where I am most of the time. All right, those are bugging the shit out of me. I bought like $15 sunglasses. I told you I was waiting for my sunglasses. They're not that great. I actually feel like I see worse with them on, but all right, I digress. Basically I have it, of course, on manual. I have it at 150th because I'm shooting in 24, 4K 24 today. And I also have ISO to auto. And right now I have it exposed. It's at F10 and that, Actually, it looks pretty good, I think. My skin looks the way I think my skin looks. This is it. I'm going to try this today. I'm going to take it home. I'm going to do today's, well, tomorrow's video in you know, 4K timeline and all that kind of stuff. I'll see what it looks like, and we'll kind of go from there. But I'm going to stop blathering on now, and I'm just going to go out and get some footage from the places where I usually linger. Let's go do that. I'm really digging this setting that DSLR video shooter suggested. At least on the screen, everything looks great. Because if you look at this, uh, I'm looking at my screen uh, right here. I've got some sun, some shadow, but a shit ton of vibrant color, but I still have the sky up top plus the, the very light gray, almost white building behind it. And everything on the screen is properly exposed. You can see all these colors. They're just popping on the screen. I'm excited. I'm a geek like that. Now we got the little purple flowers. Boom. Okay, kids, here we are. My favorite testing grounds. We're at Great Neck Park. 
the woods behind the rec center. Not gonna do any grading. I'm using this suggestion from DSLR Video Shooter. I'm gonna link his video in the description because you should watch it so that he can explain to you why this is a good thing to use. And I'm gonna say, I'm damn impressed. This looks fantastic. I mean, the colors are like perfect. It really is perfect. Now, and that's on the screen. And most of the times I look at the screen and I think it looks like shit. It doesn't though, it looks great. So I'm hoping that it looks even better on the computer once I get it in a final cut and start editing, which should really just be me doing a bunch of cuts and throwing some music on because I shouldn't have to do any grading whatsoever. Now I'm gonna walk through here, but I'm gonna let you know what this is set at at the moment. So right now, you know I'm in the woods, there's tall trees, winds whipping, there's sunspots, there's shade spots, there's a little of both. The wind, because it's moving, the trees are moving, so it's changing everything. That's why I like to come here, because I think it kind of puts everything through its paces. So I'm on my A7C, I've got the 20 millimeter, the Sony 20 millimeter F1.8. I'm shooting on full manual. I've got it at 1 50th F16, and it, it's on auto ISO and that's gonna go up, down, all around it. So it's at like 4,000 right now. So that's where we are. I'm gonna take my time walking through here though, simply because of the fact there are a shit ton of pine needles on the ground now. And those things are just treacherous. And it's already treacherous walking back here anyways. All right, so here we are at the top where I do my little twirl. And it all looks great. All right, one section down, more squirrels. We're gonna go all the way down to the gazebo though. All right, under the gazebo. out from under the gazebo. All right. Clearly some zebras in the sky pointing right at the sun. So, but all things being equal still looks good. Okay. I can't say it enough. This looks fantastic to me these settings make it so that you don't have to do any editing if you don't want to because it looks pretty good straight out of camera and that's always my go-to again i do not like to color grade and i think this look really looks good so i'm gonna run with it and that's pretty much it i like i said we'll put a link to dslr video shooters video where i got these settings i'll also you know, list them, there's only two, two settings really. I'll list them in the description as well. If you have any questions, I probably wouldn't be able to answer them. You're gonna get all your answers from, from his video because he explains everything and why he chose what he chose. And because of all that, that's why I'm choosing what I'm choosing, which is to go ahead and use what he suggests. And for now, that's gonna work great. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe, and remember kids, forward and up.